Shola Wong. First and foremost, giving God praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Bahakadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of GMS on the Job, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. As you may know, I am at work physically working for Esau at the plantation, but while I am working at the plantation, I am also doing the spiritual work of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, providing spiritual uh, edification to the Lord's elect, providing a decent meal that they might be fed. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to do a video on rebuke versus disrespect because you know a lot of you know jakes when they come into this truth you know especially when they're newly coming in you find out you're a hebrew israelite yeah yeah this this truth is all sweet to you and you know but as soon as the bitter part comes in like it tells you the book of ezekiel then was it in my belly meaning your mind you know bitter because then you start to deal with the bitterness of the truth, which is what? Balance. You got the sweet as well as the bitter. Okay, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Proverbs, the 11th chapter and the first verse. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Which when you look up that word just, you know, it goes back to the Hebrew word Shalom, which is also the same name as King Solomon. Okay, Solomon's name is Shalom, which means what? Peace. Okay, it means peace, balance. Okay, so the word just also means peace outside of righteousness or right or right wise, which is what righteous is. But, um, you know, Nobody wants to deal with the bitter when they come into the truth. You know, you just you just want the sweet. And this this truth is, is not gonna be a cakewalk. Like some movies or some animes or some cartoons, they'll show you somebody, you know, like um they're excited about becoming a samurai. You know, ooh, I get to go out to the battlefield and I get to, you know slash people hands off and dismember people and disarm people and do all these cool feats and make a name for myself but as soon as they join getting to the first steps of um getting into the samurai army you know then they start to realize that you know they're being faced with with harsh and strict rules you know And, and, and whenever, you know, you're confronted by your instructee or your sensei, may I say, or, 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 or your, um, your, 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 your teacher, you know, he might put you through harsh conditions and, and you know, the person's first, first instinct is, oh, wow, this, yeah, you're awfully harsh, sir. Could you be a little nicer? Look, man. Look, a real teacher is not going to be nice to you. Uh, 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 a real sensei, a, a real instructor, he's not going to put you through cookies and cream. Okay? He's not going to put you through pin, pin, cushion training. Okay? He's going to put you through some harsh, rigorous, serious training. You know, when you look at Tanjiro, the main protagonist from Demon Slayer, you know, 
he didn't become a strong demon slayer because his training consisted of, you know, swimming and, and lifting couch cushions and, 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 you know, punching and kicking at pillows. Nah, man. His training consisted of harsh conditions where if he did, if he did not have his head screwed on right, he could have died during his training. You know, this training was nothing easy to go through. So that's how it is with this truth, man. And when you die in this truth, that means you die spiritually, meaning what? You fall out. Okay, it means you fall out the truth. That's what it means to die, die in this truth. Spiritually, it means you fell out because you, you couldn't handle the harsh, rigorous training that was put on you by the Lord. And that harsh, rigorous training is gonna come in the form of getting rebuked. It's not gonna just be, you know, your woman coming up against you. It's not gonna just be your boss coming up against you. It's not going to just be your children being demons, you know? It's not going to just be your car breaking down. personal problems it's not going to just be you getting up for work it's also going to be you getting rebuked it's also going to be a part of that harsh rigorous training it's also going to be a part of that um those trials that you're going to be put through in this truth Now in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it tells you that no chastisement seems to be joyous at the moment. But when you go through it, scriptures tell you that it yielded the peaceable fruit to those that believe. something you're not going to become a man through constantly hearing kind and soft words okay becoming a man a part of becoming a man in this thing is learning how to deal with the harshness of the reality of life okay you watched the movie 300 okay you know, you know, Leonidas, you know, he was out at, at a young age, he was out there face, face, facing the life, he was out there facing life and death threatening situations. Things that could have, you know, things that could have, that could have cost him his life. You know, when you were a child, you know, your father probably pushed you to the ground. You might have been put in situations, that, you know, where, where, you know, it made you cry. Your feelings were hurt, your, 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 your feathers were ruffled. But as you get older and you look back at those things, you start to be glad that you actually went through that because it only helped you to become stronger, you know? Because while you were sitting on the ground crying, you know, <laughs> you know, you had these little scrapes on your hands, on your elbows. You, what did your father do? Your father told you to shut up and, and get back up. You know, 
because a real man is going to tell you a real man is not going to cater to you you know <laughs> a real man is not going to cater to you when you get knocked to the ground all right he's going to tell you to shut the fuck up and stand the fuck back up okay he's going to tell you to stand right back up because when they knock you down, you stand back up. That's what a real man is going to teach, tell you. That's what a true sensei is going to tell you. That's what a true coach is going to tell you. He's not going to sit here and get it to you. Oh, you, you okay, man? Here, let, let me go get a let me go get a bad day for that. Nah, a real teacher, a real sensei is going to tell you to stand back up. Okay, he's going. To, He's going to tell you to shut up and get your ass back up. And yeah, it may seem harsh. It may seem hard at first. You know, but as you get older, you start to understand why your coach told you that. You know, now somebody with a worldly mindset. Oh man, hold on, bro. This, this man just disrespected me, man. He told me to shut the fuck up. You know, but you see, that's what happens when 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 you wake up to the truth. You know, <laughs> you know, that's what happens when you wake up to the truth, and um, you know. You come into the truth with this worldly mindset. You know. Because when you come into truth, when you come into the truth with the worldly mindset, rebuke is gonna seem like disrespect. Man, he, man, he came at me like that. Nah man, I I don't I, I I don't like that shit, bro. Nah man, he said this, he said that, you know. But it's like in the military. Soldiers get cursed out a lot worse than that. Hey, in the military, don't you know particular soldiers, you know, that their mamas was disrespected, you know? That happens in the military sometimes, you know? If you even looked like you was, you was offended in the military, your sergeant got up in your face and said, what you gonna do, boy? Huh? You gonna go cry to your mama? Mama's boy? But you see, when it comes to being in the military, you can't deal with emotions because emotions can lead to you receiving a swift death. So when you're being trained in the military, you're being trained to keep your emotions in check. So when you get rebuked for this truth, which is a part of the bitterness of the scriptures, You know, that's really training on, on uh, keeping your emotions in check. Okay, it's really it's really training to to uh, keeping your emotions in check. know and it I mean of course rebuke is more than just you know training on keeping your emotions in check you know rebuke is much more than just that Rebuke serves as a warning that you're doing something wrong in the truth and that you need to correct it. Excuse me. And that you need to correct it. Because if you don't, then you put your own salvation in danger. You, you put your own self in, in danger of not receiving salvation. 
So rebuke is, is there to let you know, like, hey, look, you're going off on this and such and such, and, you know, hey, like your yeah, shot said, if thy right arm offend thee, cut it off. Now, it's not talking about cut off your actual right arm. That's talking about, you know, you got to get the program, man. You need, to, you need to just do better. Because the Lord is looking for acceptable men. I believe that's in um, the book of James. Acceptable men are tried and, 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 and the furthest of adversity. Because we're all going to be tried. We're all going to be tested. Okay? And, and if you can't handle rebuke now, if you can't, if you can't handle being called particular words, then how, how do you expect to make it through Jacob's trouble? Because back in the ancient world, you know, men did not always speak kindly to one another, you know? Because growing up in this society, you know, you watch some of Esau's um, TV shows or programs, they show you some of these TV shows, you know, somebody wake up, they're, they're, they're in a happy, jumpy mood. Oh, hey there, Bob, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, Billy? My day is going great, you? You know? Nah, man. That ain't how we was talking back in the ancient world, man. Look, back in the ancient world, when you greeted a brother, man, I, how do I put it? It was low key, kind of like with, with aggression, like 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 um, you know how like like um, whenever we 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 um shake each other's hands, you know. Like Shalom, like like I mean I wouldn't say shake our hands, but you know we 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 do the salute with, with, with our hands, right? Like uh like 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 whenever we would grab each other's arms back in the ancient world, it was low key kind of aggressive, you know. We would look each other in the eye, serious look, all serious austere look. Why? Because we were fucking men back then, okay. Now you got this little punk ass shallow way of greeting people. Good, good day, Mike. Nah, man, look. Look, man. You know, we could actually be men back in the ancient world without offending one another. You can't be a man in this society because the moment you do, People get offended, people tell on you, you know, they got something bad to say to you. I mean, I, I don't, uh, yeah, you wonder why nobody likes you. You're, 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 you're too serious, you're too manly. Well, fuck you then, okay? Give a fuck if you like me or not. Okay? And nobody is really gonna like a serious person. Let me tell you something. Yahawashai was a serious person. How many people liked Yahawashai? Very little. <laughs> Only Yahawashai's disciples and very few who believed in him liked him, you know, respected him, honored and revered him. But for the most part, Yahawashai was not really somebody who was liked. Why? Because he was serious, he was austere. He was persistent with constantly getting on the iniquities uh, 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 of our forefathers. Okay. So a serious person, a serious person is not going to be liked by many people. You know, the elect they're not going to be liked by many people. You know, now you might, you might ask, what is, what's, what's a disrespect? You know? Well, did the word disrespect, which um, dis, D-I-S, D-I-S means not to, right? 
and then respect. Re meaning back and then you got the word respect, which means to watch. So the word, the word disrespect really means not to watch. Or or or, or not to re-watch. So really, you know, you shouldn't even use the term disrespect. Because disrespect has nothing to do with dissing somebody. Okay, the disrespect has nothing to do with dissing somebody. The word disrespect simply means not to rewatch. So, but you know, again, you got guys who come to this truth with that, you know, carnal mindset, and it's like, you know, it just becomes a, a whole mess, man. But yeah, you know, I just wanted to do a lesson on disrespect. Uh, Lord's well, you were edified, you know. Uh, nah, I wanted to do a lesson on disrespect, the difference, you know, between disrespect and rebuke. But um, with that, I'm gonna say, go on to the next one.